Hello again. I've mentioned before that I didn't send my daughter to school. This is because, unlike some other countries, Germany for example, school is not, never has been compulsory in Britain, which may come as a surprise to some viewers. Legally and morally, responsibility for a child's education lies with the parents, not the schools or local authority. If you don't want to send your child to school when he or she reaches the age of five, simply don't do so. There's no need to notify anybody, fill in any forms, ask permission or take any action at all. You just carry on educating your own child. The legal position is that those who wish to hand the job of educating a child over to the state may do so, but those who prefer to retain control of the process don't take up any offer of free place at the school. You could say that home education or homeschooling is a default setting. All this is going to come as a surprise to many people who have been under the impression that they have some sort of legal duty to ensure that their child attends school. It's quite true that if you do register your child at a school then you must ensure that he or she attends regularly, but that's only if you actually want the child to be at school in the first place. Even having done so, if you change your mind, you need only write a letter to the head teacher, say that your child will no longer be attending, and that's the end of the matter. He crosses your child's name off the register, and then you are responsible for the child's education from then on. I'm guessing that some people might be shaking their heads at this point, unable to believe that I've got this right. Let me repeat, school in Britain is a purely voluntary business. You may opt in, but only if you wish to do so. The relevant legislation is the 1996 Education Act, and Section 7 of that Act says as follows, The parent of every child of compulsory school age shall cause him to receive efficient full-time education suitable to his age, ability and aptitudes and to any special educational needs he may have, either by regular attendance at school or otherwise. It's those two words, or otherwise, which mean that the school is not legally required. As this section says, it's a responsibility of parents to cause the child to receive an education, not the school. So even if you send your child to school, you're still responsible for his education. If the school screw up the education, it's not their responsibility, it's yours for sending him to a bad school in the first place. However, if you choose not to send a child to school, you can educate him by teaching him yourself, engaging tutors, uh, arranging private classes anywhere else. It's entirely up to you. The Queen, of course, didn't go to school at all. This used to be quite a tradition with the royal family. They used to avoid schools like the plague. At the moment, there's about 60,000 children in the United Kingdom who are educated at home rather than at schools. And the number was until recently rising. No one really knows what's happening now. Some, like me, simply don't send their children in the first place. Others take them out of school if they're not satisfied with the education being provided or if their child is being bullied or if the school can't provide properly for some special educational need or other. How did the myth arise that people are compelled to send their children to school? Because it's a very widespread myth. A lot of people think it's the law that their child has to go to school. I think Probably it began at the time that universal free schooling was first provided for children in Britain, which was with the passing of the 1880 Education Act. Despite the fact that it used the same terms as the Education Act currently in force, that passed in 1996, most parents then, as now, didn't know they had any choice in the matter. I'm not suggesting that people shouldn't send their children to school. That's purely personal uh, choice. But it's good to know that if they choose not to, then they're completely free from any consequences. There's no provision in law for inspecting the standards of education, entering the child's home, or requiring any sort of evidence from parents. For want of any evidence to the contrary, the law assumes that they are fulfilling their duty and furnishing their child with a full-time education suitable to age and special educational needs. 